Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to give us the best bets for week three. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot, just trying to make some money. Let's win some money then. Let's get into week three, and let's begin with the New England Patriots. Coming off a loss on Sunday Night Football at the Seattle Seahawks, but it felt like a win, given what everyone was talking about Cam Newton and this offense in general. This week, they are six and a half point favorites according to the FanDuel Sportsbook, and you like New England. Yeah. yeah, I do. I think this is the classic letdown spot for the Raiders. Uh, they had that big emotional win. Um, they are coming off of a short week. They're traveling from west to east. Cam Newton also coming off of an emotional loss. Definitely could have won that game. They're back in Foxborough. I just think this is a great spot for Cam. I'm laying the points with the Patriots. Coming off a loss, Patriots are primed for a win. Not just a win, a big win. And hopefully, it's by more than six and a half points. When Cam Newton's playing like Superman, well, you're in a great spot. Also coming off a, a tough game at MetLife Stadium, San Francisco 49ers. They lost two running backs, two defensive linemen, their quarterback. And yet they're favored on Sunday against the New York Giants by three and a half. And even with potentially Nick Mullins starting, you like them, Megan. Why? All right, so look, I get that the 49ers are running a hospital. I get that we've lost a lot of key players. But you just have to go with the veteran, the the coach, Kyle Shanahan. I trust him with the plug-and-play. Uh, Mullins is proven to be a great quarterback. Well, not great, but a great backup quarterback. Um, also, you have McKinnon, who looked great last week. And on the other side of the ball, I'm not going to trust Garrett or Judge. Um, not a huge Daniel Jones fan. Um, and also, they lost a humongous part of their offense in Saquon Barkley. So even though the 49ers are running a hospital, I'm going to go ahead and take them take them to win this game. San Francisco lost all of their players. The Giants lose Saquon and Sterling, Sterling Shepard. This is not a healthy game by any means. But with Nick Mullins, one of their backups in the league, as you've noted, and my man Jeff Wilson Jr., all along with Jared McKinnon, Hopefully the Niners get off and get this victory by more than three and a half, which is, again, crazy uh, with all the injuries that they're dealing with. But hey, it's worth a shot when you're facing these New York Giants. One last team, one last bet we need to get to, and that's the Seattle Seahawks. Russell Wilson, Mr. Unlimited, is a five-point favorite this week for the Seattle Seahawks. A big victory against New England on Sunday night. It's a short week for them, but you're in on the Seahawks. So I love what Russell Wilson has been doing, and I love what Pete Carroll has been allowing him to do. Um, he has just been balling out and hasn't been worried about sticking strict to the run. Um, I know the Cowboys are coming off of a win, but they have to travel up to Seattle. That is Mr. Unlimited's house. I like the Seattle Seahawks in this spot. And just a fun fact, Pete Carroll, since 2010, is 16-1 in home games in September. So I don't know what kind of voodoo Pete Carroll has going on up there, but I'm going to roll with Mr. Unlimited and that 16-1 and September record with Coach Pete Carroll. Even if the 12th man is empty in Seattle, that record is ridiculous at home. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks' five-point favorites are finally letting Russ cook. Brian Schottenheimer has opened up the offense, and it just feels like there's no number that's too high for Seattle. This week at five under a touchdown, it's a number that I think we have to like. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry. Megan, I feel good about this week's pick, man. I am in. Thank you so much. Let's win some money. All right, let's do it. All right, for Megan Nunez, I am Greg Sussman. Join us tomorrow with Tom Vecchio as we'll go over the value plays to match up with his star plays from earlier this week. DFS Week 3 is going to be fun. Have a great night. Enjoy your week. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry.